Hello and welcome to class activity number four. So today we are going to join a client PC to the domain controller. So it's going to be a lot of work. So before we even begin, I want to explain to you what we're doing. So right here, um, this is the topology of what we're going to be doing. We have the domain controller up here and we have the client down here and they're all connected to a switch and the reason we did that in um, in in the virtual box so here's the client and he's the domain controller you don't see the switch in here but that's what they really are connected to and the reason is because we both both NICs are set to internal networks so that's why we set them to an internal network here's your default gateway we're not connected we don't have a router in our um, in the virtual box, but we just put it in there anyway. So in reality, you would connect a wire from here to the gateway. So if any of these do not want to communicate with anyone, by default, they go to 192.168.10.1 to go to the outside world. So we're never going to be affected. So we just leave this alone. I just wanted to show you that this is where the router is going to be, but we really don't have it connected, even though the devices are connected with it. So this is the domain. Everything that connects to the switch is within the domain and the domain controller will control all the devices in the domain and all the users that connect to inside the domain, connects with these PCs, all right? So if you remember in lab number one or lab number two, we configured the domain controller to have 192.168.10.100 with a mask of slash 24 and the default gateway is 10.1. All right, and we gave it the name, you know, the first initials of your first name and last name, Windows Service 2K22 DC, right? And we are going, well, you're supposed to be, well, you are going to install another server, but the only difference is I want you to call it, <coughs> I'm sorry, we're going to call it a client. So this is the domain and this is how we are connected. So when this wants to join, he will send in information to the domain controller and then the domain controller will um, control, uh, will, um, will allow him to join in using the, um, the administrative password. And when I say join in, he'll be registered within the domain controller. And then from the domain controller, you can set policies on what they can and cannot do to this client. All right, so that's the whole idea. I wanted to show you a present presentation of what you were going to be doing for the rest of the semester. All right, so your first step is to do is to go back to uh, lab one where we did the installation of the server. So please go through class activity number one and install another server. And the only difference is when you go to new, uh, Right here, you call it server22-client and then do everything exactly like class activity number one. Watch the video for class activity one and install and install the server. And when you are done, come back here and then we'll continue. All right, so let's assume that you did that and you are right here. So let's go and boot up the client. You can double click on it or you can go to this, you know, highlight it and go to the start. We are going to now configure um, using class activity number two. And there's only a little bit of a difference. So we did la class activity number one on this client server. Now we are going to do the configuration, the basic configuration for it. All right, so let's log in. And the password is, remember, I love server 2022. So you should have done that too. Don't change the password. So this way we're always consistent. All right, so we're going to do everything that we did to the domain controller. We're going to do it to the, um, to the client. The only difference is we're not going to install the domain services. So this will not be um, a domain controller. So we're just going to do the first two class activity on it. All right, I want you to kill this. We don't need that. Um, 
let's pin this to the taskbar, right? The server manager. Okay, and let's configure this local server. So click on that. Let's change the computer name. So click on that, click on change. And it's going to be the first, your initials. In my case, it's MA, then WS for Windows Server, 2K, 22, dash SRV for server. That's the naming convention. All right, click on OK. It's going to reboot, so we'll let it reboot. So say OK and say close. And let's say start. So it's a good practice to do it again. So this way you'll have another, this is another way, another chance to uh, reinstall the server. Okay, let's log in. I love server 2022. All right, let the server manager come up because we do need that. All right, so configure this local server. Let's go back in there. All right, the name is changed. Excellent. We're going to leave the work group alone. The firewall, we need to turn that off, so click on that. So let's um, disable the domain, the private, and the public networks. Let's start with the domain. Turn it off, we go back. Let's do the same thing to the private. Turn that off. Go back. And let's go to the public one. Turn that off. And we're all done. We can close that, hit the refresh, make sure it goes off, and it is. All right, we need to enable the remote desktop. So click on that, click on allow remote connections to this computer, say okay, apply, okay, refresh to verify that it has been enabled, good, we need to change the NIC IP address, and the NIC IP address is this, we're going to give it dot six, everything else is the same, because remember dot 100 is the domain controller, so the client has to be in the same network so that means the first three digit uh the first three bytes have to be the same because you have the mask of 255 255 dot zero so 192 and 68 10 is in the same subnet as both okay so um <clears throat> excuse me let's go back double click on the neck go to properties double click on tcp vip4 Check the button that says use the following IP address and then type in 192.168.10.6. Hit the tab key. It should autofill the mask. Hit the tab key again. And the default gateway is 192.168.10.1. All right. Go to the preferred DNS. It's going to be 192.168.10.100, which is the domain controller. And the alternate DNS will use the Google 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. All right, excellent. Click on OK. OK. And close. Close this as well. And refresh. All right, beautiful. Go in here, forget about the updates like we said. The only thing we need to change here is the time zone. So click on that. Let's change the time zone to Eastern. And there you go. We say okay, okay, hit refresh. And we have configured our client server. He's ready to go. So now we need leave that leave this open, and now you need to go back in here and turn on the domain controller. So click on the domain controller. 
and boot it up. Actually, while this is booting up, go back. Let's go back to the client. I'm going to go back to the client in here. And uh, we can close the server manager. Well, yeah, we, we, we can close it. We don't need it. We need to install the uh, guest additions. So click on go to devices, insert guest edition. And let's go to the file explorer down here this pc double click on the cd virtual box guest edition and then double click on the virtual box windows editions down here the fourth one from the bottom and let's start the installation click on next next and install remember the guest editions allow us to drag and drop from the host to the virtual machine whatever we want and the clipboard whatever we hold in the clipboard so we definitely go in and need that down the road. So might as well do it now. Okay, let it reboot. That's fine. All right, so let's log in. <laughs> Excuse me. And um, so it's I love server 2022. All right, let me go to the domain controller right here. See, it says domain controller. Let's log into the domain controller too. Same password, right? I love server 2022. All right. This guy should be able to ping the domain controller and there should be a reply. If everything is good, then he will, if the pinging is successful, then we should be able to join the domain controller. So that's what we're going to do. At the this is the domain controller. That's not what I want. I want to be here on the server manager of the client. In fact, since we did this, you know what? Let's go to and remove this from keep getting booting up the server manager. So let's go to manage and server manager properties. And don't start the server manager automatically at log on. Check that box and say OK. And then you can close the server manager. All right, so let's ping the domain controller. Remember, you have to be at the client. So right here in the search box, type CMD, the command prompt. And enter and type ping, P-I-N-G space. And the IP address of the domain controller is 192.168.10.100. And it replies, perfect. Take a picture of this. So when it replies, that means they see each other, right? They are connected in the same domain. Now we're going to have this guy join the domain controller. If the ping was unsuccessful, then you got problems, right? You have to troubleshoot and fix. All right. So once we know it's successful, next step is to join the domain. Okay. Remember, take a picture and put it at the bottom of the lab. All right, so we go right here, and actually we can go to, um, you can right click on the start menu if you want. You can go to settings, you can go, let's go to file explorer, it's just easy. Okay, so go to the file explorer, right click, right click on this PC, and we're gonna go to properties. All right, if you scroll down, um, if you go to display, where am I going to? Let's see if that helps. Hold on. All right, so what you need to do is you need to go to 
down here. Well, let me just show you one more time. You go to the File Explorer, right click on this PC, go to Properties, or you can go to Settings, it doesn't really matter. And uh, you scroll down and you wanna go to Rename this PC, the Advanced. All right, you click on Change and you wanna join the domain, right? name of this computer and the domain name is xyz dot local oops I'm just not typing xyz dot local right and click OK it's connecting to the domain controller and this should come up take a picture of this that's your second screenshot this is shows that you are joining the um, the domain controller. So type the word administrator and then the password is I love server 2022 and click OK and he is joining in and we should get a statement that says welcome to XYZ network. I'm not mistaken. There, there it is. See, welcome to xyz.local domain. Take another picture of this. And you have successfully joined the domain. Uh, the, you are in the domain controller. So you can click OK after that. OK. You can say OK. Let it reboot. Um, you can restart later for that. Let's go back to the domain controller right here and uh, click on this one right here, the one that says domain um, controller uses and computers. If you go to computers, the computer should be registered and it is right here. Why does it say AL? It's not supposed to be AL. Maybe it's because rebooting. Let's see. Um, suppose we have a computer AL that is, this is the computer that they registered in. Let me see here. AL.x, it wasn't called AL. Did I call it AL? Hmm, interesting. Uh, just, to let, just to let you know, I made a mistake writing the name of the computer as AL. Like when I was typing it by mistake. So the computer name is supposed to be MA. I can't even change it now. So let me see if I can go change. MA, right? Uh, WS um, 2K dash SR. I'm sorry. SRV. Okay, so that's okay. That's the name of the computer. And let's log in again. Administrator is the user. And the password is I love server 2022. All right, so let's restart. It's okay. We start now. Because we changed the name. I just want to be consistent. And um, if you go to the domain controller and hit refresh, there you go. You get the name. That's what I wanted to see. All right? Take a picture of this. This shows that in the computer, under the Active Directory uses the computers that the client server, SRV, has joined. All right? Take a picture of this, and that's your last screenshot. All right? And they shut down both the domain controller. Go to Start. Shut it down. And then you need to shut down the server itself, too. I mean, the, um, the client. Let me log in so we can shut it down properly. 
um, All right, so you shut it down. Click on the menu, click shut down, continue, and we're done. And I will see you in class activity number five.